What's going on guys, it's Blender Bench here, back with another video. And today I thought I'd put together a quick tutorial to show you guys how to go about applying materials to your hair particles inside of Blender. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Uh, really quick, let me just dive into the cycles render so you guys can see that there's no color um, attached to the hair right now. So I have my character here that I created, which is Patrick Stewart, um, as he played in um, Star Trek. And say if I wanna assign a material here, first I have to create a material. So let's go back to the shading mode and to go about creating the material first, we wanna go to the material properties and that's this icon here at the bottom. So if you're not there, you're here, you need to go here to um, create it. And to do it, you want to go to the plus sign here at the top right corner hit the plus sign and then you want to go to where it says new select this and then we can go to where it says surface and change it from principal bsdf let's look for hair um bsdf and it should be i have bad eyes but it's in here somewhere it's hiding principled hair bsdf once you have that we can then um change the name to let's just do um um, head hair something simple head hair once you rename that it's a good it's always good to name anything you do in blender or any program whether it be Maya cinema 4d 3ds max just because it's, it's a good practice and it's help it helps with organization as well so if you ever work in a, a gaming studio or animation studio that's one thing you're gonna have to be really familiar with so back to the tutorial so you we just renamed that and um, as soon as you like choose the principal bsdf hair um there's a base color here that's already here which is a brown color and you can go about changing that by selecting it and um you know changing the values to whatever color you want it to be if you want it to be blue green let's just choose green for the sake of the tutorial to show you guys that it's actually whatever we choose and now that we created this material it's named properly we want to now assign it to the hair so whether it be the eyebrows the hair on the head the beard stubble you name it we have to go over here to the particle um, properties and let's go to the render tab here and under the render tab you'll see um, where it says material and here's where you select the material so you don't get the same material as the face we want to choose the one we just named and we named it um, head hair so once we choose that it's now selected so if we go to cycles render you'll see that the hair is now green if it ever shows up. So the hair that I assigned it to is the eyebrows. And I can easily change it to whatever I want it to be as well. So if I wanted it to be on the um, the hair, on the head instead of the eyebrows, that's a quick and easy fix. Let me go back to shading mode so it doesn't bog down the time. And then I wanna to go to select my hair. So I'll just go up to the top inside of this, thing, inside of this same um, particle hair properties. We wanna go up and I'll just choose the head and then um, go back down to material, change it from gray to head hair. So once you're creating hair, just like anything else, you wanna name it. Like I have the rest of these, I have the fuzz named fuzz, the eyebrows named eyebrows, the head for the head hair. So naming conventions is always something you're always gonna use and need. So I changed the hair to that. So let's go to render really quick and let's see if we have green hair. We have green hair, so this was a success. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit that like button, leave a comment. Let me know that it helped you out, helped you out a lot or whatever. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.